أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته It is my pleasure to welcome you to the IOU's orientation for the spring 2024 semester. You have been given the blessing of walking on the path of knowledge of Allah and his final messenger. We ask Allah to bless you on this journey and to accept it from you and reward you as long as you are on this path. Ameen. In our orientation session today, we will explore the concept of legacy an investment in both the worlds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim Yarfa'i allahu al-lazina amanu minkum wal-lazina utu al-ilma darajat Allah will raise those who have believed among you and those who were given knowledge by degrees. And in Surah Al-Ra'ad, verse number 11, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah la yughayyiru ma bi qawmin hatta yughayyiru ma bi anfusihim. Indeed, Allah will not change the condition of the people until they change what is in themselves. This portion of the verse in Surah Al-Majadila reminds us that belief and attaining knowledge are among two qualities of excellence in a person, and that these are the reasons for a person to excel and be elevated among others. We may not understand why a person is distinguished or stands out among others, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees this station due to belief and due to having been given knowledge. Also, Allah affirms in Surah Al-Ra'd that He Jalla Jalaluhu does not change a nation or a people until they have changed themselves. We must seek change, that is transformation first, then Allah will make that transformation easy and accessible. In today's orientation session, inshallah, we will go over the following information with you. We will begin our orientation session with the Chancellor's address to the students, followed by a discussion on study material, course evaluation, study method, semester cycle, and how you can seek support from the faculty. We will also discuss about exam centers, the importance of assignments. We will also have an address to scholarship students, a time management session with student counselor, how you can get support from the student affairs office. We will also learn how um, to navigate through IOU student dashboard. We will talk about student representative council and local student committees of IOU, followed by um, a discussion on students code of conduct and complaint procedure and a Q&A session with Sister Sana Khan. Dear students, I'm sure all of you are very familiar with Dr. Bilal Phillips, who is the founder and chancellor of IOU. He begins our session with a personal address to you. Dr. Bilal is a Jamaican Canadian Islamic scholar. Shortly after his reversion to Islam, he embarked on a spiritual academic journey to the other side of the world, seeking Islamic knowledge in Saudi Arabia, where he completed a bachelor's in Islamic studies in Al Medina a master's in Islamic theology in Riyadh, and later a PhD at the University of Wales in Islamic theology. Dr. Bilal Phillips has written, translated, and commented on over 50 published books on various Islamic topics. He has also edited and published the 56-book Iman reading series for children and presented Islamic programs for a number of years on Riyadh Channel, Sharjah TV, as well as Peace TV, Huda TV, Islam Channel, and The Dean Show. Without any further delay, dear students, Dr. Bilal Phillips. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. The world today is a cauldron of confusion, with new ideologies being thrust into the forefront of the media. Education is changing. People are being driven towards confrontational and anti-religious customs. We are living in a time when adhering to Islamic values is indeed like clinging on to hot coals. In the midst of all of this, the International Open University, IOU, stands firmly committed to offering higher education 
infused with Islamic values in all fields of study. Being faced with the tribulations of our current times, while remaining laser focused with determination and steadfastness based on authentic knowledge, promotes success in weathering the tempest of the modern anti-religious onslaught. IOU remains an anchor in the midst of this chaos by providing its students the ability needed to avert them from being swayed away from attaining their goals as a direct result of deviation from Allah's path. Instead of losing course, all of us at IOU strive to push ahead, determined to work towards our goals. Seeking knowledge is a lifelong obligation for Muslims. Talabul ilmi farid ala kulli Muslim. We are encouraged to learn new knowledge and skills. We are also admonished to use this knowledge for the benefit of ourselves, the betterment of our families, our societies, and humanity in general. Whether it be a trade, a hobby, or knowledge, all newly acquired information can be used to better our lives and the lives of those around us. With that, IOU is proud to announce the introduction of some new streams of study, inshallah, coming in the fall of 2023. MSc in psychology, MAIS, which is research-based, and a master's in Arabic linguistics, which is also research-based. Maintaining the focus on providing the Ummah with quality Islamic education to revive the grandeur to the Islamic nation. IOU is also working on introducing the master's level studies in IBEF, Islamic Banking, Economics and Finance. Also masters in business administration and education in the near future. By Allah's permission, and by Allah's grace. The International Open University has been instrumental in bringing education to the Ummah for over a decade. What began as a single degree program of study in Islamic studies has flourished into the general diploma in Islamic studies, which is free. The GQMC, which is the global Quran memorization center providing for thousands to study the Quran, to memorize the Quran, wherever they are in the world. And a degree campus of seven majors, Islamic studies being the initial degree, which later evolved into degrees in psychology, education, information technology, business administration, Islamic economics, and Arabic language. IOU also has programs for those who speak Russian, Indonesian and Urdu, while the world struggled to offer education online during the COVID outbreak, IOU was already in place and ready to continue providing authentic knowledge to the Islamic nation. It was fully capable of delivering the quality learning experience required for the future of online education. With Allah's blessings, IOU seeks to add to the body of knowledge that it is providing to the Ummah in the next semester and in the near future. Muslims are instructed by Allah to be mindful. Allah challenges us in the Quran in Surah Muhammad verse 24. He said, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ أَمْ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبٍ أَقْفَالُهَا do they not reflect upon the Qur'an or are their hearts locked up? We are admonished not only to read the Qur'an and to learn it, to memorize it, but to reflect and be mindful of the Qur'an and what it contains. To make the conscious decision to follow it 
and to act upon it. To act upon what Allah has sent in his final message. Therefore, mindful learning is the basis of a Muslim's education. Deciding to learn knowledge, whether Islamic studies and learning about Allah and his messages sent to humankind throughout human history, or to learn otherworldly knowledge. However, all within the scope of Islamic principles, which would be, inshallah, pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Each Muslim will be asked about the time he or she has spent from the time he or she was given. We can use the new life situations to fall into despair and our own destruction, or we can choose to refocus our intentions, to redirect our lives and the use of our time, which is a gift given to us by Allah, to be mindful of our situations. And what may be a new direction given to us by Allah for our future. And to learn new knowledge and skills and improve the ummah with this knowledge. Mindful learning is making the choice to study Islamic studies or to study other sciences from an Islamic perspective. Being conscious of what we learn who we learn from and how we learn. What we learn, we should be learning about Allah and his final message, which is included in the worldly subjects as well, so that all knowledge is gained and utilized in ways which Allah approves. Who do we learn from? We should be learning from reputable scholars who have learned from reputable scholars whose knowledge is taken from original sources, how we learn, putting in the requisite time and effort to learn what is taught well, and revising this knowledge, making the knowledge a part of us and not just something we pass through. Beneficial knowledge is so important, we have supplications both for it and against its opposite. The Prophet ﷺ taught us, Allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'a. Oh Allah, I ask you for beneficial knowledge. And he also taught us saying, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min ilmin la yanfa'a. Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from useless knowledge. Therefore, mindful learning is also analyzing the knowledge at hand and deciding if it is actually beneficial or not and focusing on that which is of benefit, while using that focus to direct our lives and the lives we influence towards pleasing Allah and ultimately bringing us closer to Him. I ask Allah to make this a beneficial year for all of those who are connected to IOU, as student body, faculty, and administration, and to bless our efforts and accept them as sincerely made for his pleasure. Ameen. Barakallahu feekum. Jazakallah khairan kathira, Dr. Bilal. We ask Allah to bless your efforts and preserve you for the IOU and the Ummah. Dear students, it is imperative that we familiarize ourselves with the category our program falls under as the rules governing these categories are different. Please make sure to check the name of your program at the top right corner of your account once you log in. Once enrolled into the IOU courses, as a student, you have access to the following study material, which will aid you in your studies. The course text. The course text is the core text that will be used for the course. It is available as an e-copy on your course dashboard that can be downloaded, downloaded. Next, we have the module or the unit audios or videos that are recorded sessions of the explanations of the topics covered in the book. The content of the audio and video is exactly the same. The supplementary recorded sessions are additional recordings by the course teachers to help you understand the concepts better. This is followed by the midterm and final study questions 
which will help you gauge your understanding of the topic. Please note that this is not a document that gives you access to the questions that will appear in the exams. It is only for practice. For the exams, you are advised to study from all the material listed above. The course evaluation at IOU is done through multiple ways and the aggregate is considered at the end. In simple words, each type of coursework contributes a certain fixed percentage to the final course grade. Please note, there's only one assignment to be submitted per course. The MAIS course-based courses have research papers that need to be submitted. All specific information can be accessed from the schedule. Each module or unit has a small test to be attempted in order to proceed with the next module test. You should be knowing which course category you fall under, revised or non-revised, as the exam pattern is slightly different. For all revised programs, the midterm and final exams are of two parts. Part A has the multiple choice questions, while Part B are open-ended questions. As for the non-revised programs, it is only one part with multiple choice questions. Dear students, these are the essentials on the course page in order to navigate the effective learning that takes place at IOU. Event schedule and calendar for important deadlines, course syllabus section. Now this section offers a detailed analysis of what you will be studying at the course. Download or read course textbook for each course or module. The textbook will be provided by IOU and available on your course dashboard. This is essential throughout the course as the course teacher will be using this book to proceed. Make sure you watch or listen to course module or audios or videos. The content of the audio file, as mentioned, as mentioned before, is exactly the same as the video file. However, students find it useful sometimes to download the audio and play it while they're working or commuting. This is an extremely useful feature as our students have vouched for it in the past as well. The course notes section. Please note, these notes are not written by IOU, but have been shared by our dedicated students. You may refer to them, but IOU is not liable for any errors on it. You can also seek clarification through the student discussion forum and ask the teachers forum, or alternatively, you can also email the course faculty. These forums are a good platform for the teachers and students to discuss their questions or seek clarifications. This, dear students, is the study method for undergraduate programs. As you can see, there are two parts um, of the midterm exams and final exams. Part A has 30 MCQ questions, which um, have um, a weightage of about 60 percentage. Part B has open-ended questions, which constitutes to about 40 percentage. Please note that the number of questions will vary from course to course. Midterm exams, as well as final exams for all undergraduate programs, are required to be attempted at the exam center. The maximum allowed duration to complete the program for full-time students is six years, with a normal duration of four years. And for part-time students, it's about nine years, um, with a normal duration of six years. Um, please note that undergraduate students will not be allowed to retake a particular module or course more than three times. <clears throat> and students who do not complete at least 25 credits from first year curriculum within first calendar year shall not be allowed to continue the program. The study method for graduate programs, um, as you can see here on the slide, the maximum allowed duration to complete the program for full-time students is two years with a maximum duration of four years. Students uh, of graduate programs will not be allowed to retake a particular course or module more than three times. A student who has not passed all the first year courses in the program after two years of full-time study will not be allowed to enroll in any course. Please note, dear students, that students of graduate programs will have midterm and final exams where applicable that need to be attempted at the exam center. Students must carefully check the course instructions to determine which courses have both midterm and final exams, 
which courses have final exams only and those that have neither. Full-time registration will require students to register for a minimum of 40 credits and maximum of 60 credits per academic semester. Study method for um, the intensive Arabic program. The semester is um, divided into two sessions, as you can see here, session one um, that commenced on um, 1st of March, 2024, and session two, which will begin um, in the last week of May, 2024. Each semester has two sessions and each session has a midterm as well as a final exam. In each session, you can study only one course at a time and each course is a prerequisite to the next course. That means you can only enroll in IAP Arabic 102 after passing IAP Arabic 101 course. Please note to your students that the event schedule and calendar for the intensive Arabic program is completely different from other offered programs at IOU. So IAP students can see the IAP calendar on their student dashboard, inshallah. Dear students, let us take a moment to understand the placements of different elements on your course page. You may also log into your course page and learn how to navigate through your student dashboard along with us. You through how a course page looks like. So this is the course page that we have logged into. The main area of the course page will include course forums. Here you have any announcement pertaining to that particular course. By a course, we mean a subject and not the program. So you may be in the program BAIS degree, but in that you are in a course, say, Aqida 101, or that is AQD 101. So this is how a course page looks like. You have a course forum wherein you have the announcements, for, announcements portal where all announcements pertaining to that course will be made by a course teacher. Followed by Ask the Teacher, this is a forum where you can post a query directly to your teacher and she will get back to you on the portal itself. Students Discussion Forum is for students to discuss amongst themselves of, of any doubt that they have when covering the program or anything related to the course itself. Technical Feedback Forum is for those who would like to report a technical issue they face on the course page. Moving ahead, the next block is course text and study material. Here, all the text material that you require for this course will be present over here. And all of this study material is what is mentioned in the modules going ahead. So for, in order to access it, you just need to click it and it will get saved onto your device. Course notes section usually includes notes not by the university but made by the semester students of the earlier semesters. So you may access them and go through it, but IOE does not take liability for those notes as those are not prepared by IOU itself. You have live sessions next, which is within under this block, you might have the recordings of the previous live sessions or you will also have the link to the upcoming live sessions under this block. After that commences the modules wherein you have all the modules and under modules you will have the module notes, you will have the module audio, module video which will be divided into parts or it will be a single video. The module audio is nothing but the audio of the video and it is not different from the video in any way. It is usually utilized by those students who would like to download the lessons and listen to them um, while doing their other chores or going through their commitments. If some modules do not have a PDF attached to it, it just means that there is, not, there is no PDF required for that particular module. And at some, in some courses, you will see that the page numbers are mentioned. If the page numbers are mentioned, you are requested to go through the course text and study material to see which book and which page numbers are referenced. 
towards the middle of the course page you will find an assignment page research paper is only applicable for certain courses and not all courses you will find an assignment page and in the assignment page you can then go through the assignment that is listed out for you along with the details that are mentioned in for example this assignment over here when you click on the assignment it will give you instructions in the first go and then it will also inform you of all the specifications that you need to be aware of and here you have the question in the form of a PDF which you need to download and then based on the instructions given you need to complete the assignment after the assignment you have certain study questions Please note that these study questions are not the only questions that you need to memorize or you need to study for the exams. There can be questions that are asked outside these study questions. Following which you have the midterm exam which will be activated at the time of the midterm and before that you will have no access to it. So when it is time for the midterm, during that period only this portal will be open. All you need to do is click on this link and it will take you to the exam page. Following that, you have the remaining modules which are laid out in the same manner as the other modules are laid out. And each module ends with a module test which is compulsory for you to attend in order to activate the module test of the next module. Towards the end of the course page, you have the link to the final exam. Just like the midterm exam, this link will only be active when it is time for the exams to begin. That is, during the exam week only, this link will be active. Apart from that, on the course page, on the right side of the course page, you have the teacher contact details. And this teacher will be the one who is going to support you through the course. You have their name, their email ID, in some cases you also have their phone number and their office timings. Below that you have the evaluation scheme, wherein the session tests are nothing but the module tests. The module tests contribute to 15% of the course grade, midterm exam contributes to 30%, final exam 40%, assignments 15%, and that constitutes the passing mark of 50%. Below that you have a components. This is all for you to have a look at a glance. You know that this particular course has got 34 modules out of which 17 modules are what you need to prepare for your midterm exam. And for your final exam, you need to prepare for the other 17 modules. And there is one assignment in this particular course. So this can serve as a quick check for you as in, in terms of planning out when and how you need to complete the modules and it also helps you to check it off saying that i've completed the modules now i can move ahead to the midterms and then the finals and then the assignments dear students <clears throat> I hope you understood the placements of different elements on your course page in the tu short tutorial you just watched. Now let us move on to um, our discussion on the semester cycle. So as you can see here, um, this is a cycle that represents how a typical semester at IOU looks like. So Alhamdulillah, we've officially kickstarted um, our semester on the 1st of March. Uh, followed by an orientation session, um, which were, which is happening today. Uh, shortly after, inshallah, you can expect uh, the assignment questions uh, to be released. And then um, the midterm exam period begins, followed by assignment submissions, late assignment submission period, and the late midterm exam period. Um, after the late midterm exam period ends, um, you will, you can expect to see the exam center registration period open up. Um, and finally, um, we will be concluding the semester with um, the final exams as well as the late final exams, inshallah. Dear students, 
It is important to remember that the primary source for clearing your doubts or concerns about each course is the course teacher. Use any of the methods available through the course page to contact your teacher. You can email your course teacher, use the Ask the Teacher forum, or call your respective course teacher within the teacher's office hours. Social media groups are also set up to help you as a student to reach out to other students. However, this does not replace the direct guidance from the course teacher. I would like to stress here that while it is not permissible for your course teacher to give you the correct answer on a missed module test question, this in no way implies that the course teacher is prevented from helping you concerning the modules and the test questions. You are permitted to inform your course teacher of any missed question on a test and verify that it is indeed incorrect, as computer errors occur and it may be marked incorrectly. In this case, the course teacher will manually adjust the mark, giving you the credit you deserve. If your answer is incorrect upon checking, the course teacher is allowed to clarify any misunderstanding of the information and direct you to the part of the lesson or reading material or lecture where you can find the correct answer. Also note, inquiries that mention the module test questions should never be posted in the discussions forum. Instead, they should be sent via email directly to the course teacher. Dear students, IOU scheduling and operations run on UTC time. Do you know the time difference between your local time and UTC? Here's an activity. Type your city and country, the current time and the time difference between UTC and your current time. Currently, it's 5.33 a.m. UTC. So calculate the difference and share on the chat window. Dear students, thank you so much for participating in the student activity. Now let us proceed to our discussion on exam centers. As you can see here on the slide, please note that it is compulsory to attempt midterm and final exams at the IOU approved exam centers. Also, please note that IOU approved exam centers are separate organizations and independent from IOU. Students must make complete arrangements with the exam centers before you proceed to take an exam at the dedicated center. Please note that the exam center registration procedure is as follows. Contact the approved exam center via email, call, and a physical visit. Check availability for midterm and final exam dates and time with the center. Make sure you also check availability for your gender. If there's any fee that's being charged, and if the center is available on the weekends or weekdays as well. In case, um, in case, in case um, you would like to suggest, a new, you can request for a new center um, to be arranged if you don't find a suitable center or um, the existing center is far away from where you live. Um, and make sure that you are responsible to contact any proposed center and make all arrangements prior to reaching out to us about adding um, the dedicated center as an IOU approved exam center. Dear students, you are researchers. Your research begins now. While asking questions is okay and helpful, as a researcher, you should begin by trying to find the answers to queries yourself by searching for them. Especially in the MAIS, they consist of a major portion of the overall grade, even in undergraduate studies.
However, there is more to the research put into assignments than just attaining a mark. The various projects also develop various skills required for many types of research and verification of information in life. We have a Telegram group for assignments and research papers for brothers as well as sisters. If you wish to be added into those groups, please contact Help Desk. Scholarship, dear students, scholarship students, our, sh our scholarship funds are shared by generous donors and it's imperative that these funds are not wasted through students being lax in their studies. The funds allotted, uh, the, uh, the funds allotted for scholarship students um, are limited, so make sure that the scholarship students um, are required to enroll in minimum of six courses and pass all these courses. BSc psychology students must enroll in at least five courses and ensure to pass them all. For IAP students, they're required to enroll and pass in one course. Dear students, please note that being a scholarship student you're not allowed to drop courses or switch any programs. Awarding of subsequent scholarships upon, depends upon academic performance. IOU holds the authority to renew, levy fines, and even terminate the scholarship based on the level of compliance with the scholarship policies. Dear students, I'd like to share with you five tips on how you can manage your time better in this semester as we embark um, the blessed month of Ramadan, inshallah. So first things first, make sure you check in your intentions and renew your intentions by asking yourself, who are you doing this for? Are you studying here for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Am, am I studying here so that I can one day um, serve the ummah? This is a great time to inshallah take a step back and um, renew your intention for joining IOU. Next, make sure you prepare a schedule, a study schedule in place, considering that there will be a lot of commitments, uh, personal as well as professional commitments um, in the month of Ramadan. Make sure you um, pick a fixed day and a fixed time to complete your modules. Next, make sure you also mark any important dates such as dates for assignments, dates for uh, final exams, midterm exams, so that inshallah you're on track. Next, make sure that um, in the process of studying, um, you are also taking enough breaks because you don't want to end up um, getting burned out um, while um, you are worshiping um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Ramadan. So make sure you take small breaks um, throughout the day um, so that inshallah you can rejuvenate yourself and make time for your studies, your family obligations, as well as your obligations to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lastly, one of the most uh, important pieces of advice is that I would like to share with you all is to practice stress management techniques. Techniques like deep breathing exercises, taking a walk outside, um, spending time with your loved ones, really helps to reduce um, your heightened anxiety and stress. So inshallah, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to put barakah in your time and to help you cope um, with this semester to the best of your potential. Dear students, at the Student Affairs Office, we strive to engage in all aspects of students' lives and collaborate with students faculty, staff, alumni, and many others in the delivery of key services and support to students. At the Student Affairs Office, we aim to offer programs and services that support the optimal growth of students and enhance their intellectual, social, religious, and academic development by providing opportunities for students to experience education and explore interests beyond the classroom. We also aim to increase student engagement in university activities by providing and promoting quality services and programs. We also aim to support a diverse community of learners to enhance student life and create opportunities to develop students as ethical and responsible leaders who make positive impacts in the community. We also aim 
to increase student retention by creating a more inclusive and supportive environment that fosters a sense of connectedness to the university. Lastly, we also aim to provide several services to students and assist them with their academic journey at IOU. Various offices of the Student Affairs Office are there for you to provide seamless study experience. Hence, you may contact Student Information and Support Center for any administrative queries you have by sending an email through contact us form on Student Support tab on your dashboard or send an email to helpdesk at iou.edu.gm. Student Success Team aims to see students successfully completing their education at IOU. Hence, you will find the team contacting you via email as well as call and some social media applications to help you keep you on to help to keep you on track. You can also schedule an appointment for live calls to discuss your study concerns. Our student counselor can help you in time management and developing various study skills so that you ace your studies. Get in touch with our student counselor by filling the form available on the student counseling page. Lastly, we encourage you to download Telegram app on your smartphone and get in touch with your fellow senior students to get study support and motivation, inshallah. Dear students, let us learn how to navigate the student dashboard once again at IOU. Login page once you enter your or username as well as your password and we log in. This is how your dashboard would look at the beginning. There are a couple of components over here that we need to go through in order to access the different features that are there on the dashboard and also for us to complete the courses that we are enrolled in. Starting off at the top. Under my courses, you will see a drop down. This will give you an idea of the courses that you are enrolled into. Currently, if the student is enrolled into one course, they can see the first course over here. And if there are many other courses, those can be seen over here under my courses. Now, if you want to access the courses that you have enrolled into quite easily, then this is your place. You just come over here click on the drop down and then you can gain access to your courses. Other than that, next to it, you have the courses button. And when you click on the courses button, you have multiple tabs that you can gain access to. The first one is the enrolled courses. This is a list of courses that you are enrolled into as a student. The student is currently enrolled into Orientalism, that is DHD Fine Art 2. And the course is hyperlinked. So if you open uh, the, when you click on the hyperlink, you can directly go to the course page. Next, over here, it will also give an idea about the course grade as to what is the course grade for that particular course. Now, as you can see over here, that the course does not have any grades recorded and that is why it shows cannot view any grades. Over here, it will tell you the number of modules that are pending for you. So in this course for the student, module one, starting from module one, the student hasn't attempted. So that's the module that it is showing you. Suppose you have completed 10 modules, it will show you module 11 over here and you can directly access the course and the modules from this tab. Under all courses, you have the list of courses that are available in your program so you can have a look at all the courses that are available in your program under all courses under completed courses you will get an idea about how many courses have you completed and the grade that is put against it in case you find some semesters over here in which the course is not completed so you can prioritize those and complete them in the upcoming semesters Next tab is calendar and the calendar will give you an idea about what are the deadlines of certain uh, the exams of the coursework that is there pertaining to your enrolled program. Next is exam centers. 
and we have two tabs under that one is info and the other is arrangement now under the exam tab you will have all information of your exam centers and other details on how to register for it now in case you do not have a center in your area and you would like to register for a new center under exam centers you have the tab that says arrangement when you click on that you will get all the details of the center that you can possibly recommend to IMU to act as a center for the exams the existing center information will be available under info and all of that information will be visible to you as soon as the portal opens you will only be able to see those centers that are in the country that you have registered from. In case you would like to apply for a center for a non-resident country, you will see a link on which you need to click. But all information regarding an exam centers can be accessed through this tab at the top. Then you have student support, which is divided into multiple areas of student affairs office. We have semester cycle, student handbook, and so on and so forth. So anything that you would like to refer to in order to understand how things work, or even a set of how to's, for example, how to register for the Tejweet class, how to unenroll un from a course, how to apply for a waiver, all of this can be found under student support. When clicking on the right tab, you will be directed to the whole set of information. Apart from this, what is important for us is at the right side, top right side, you will see your name as well as their student ID. Many students wish to know their student ID is exactly at the top right of your dashboard. What you see in terms of the time over here is the UTC time. So this becomes a good reference point for you. All you need to do is compare this time with your local time and then you will understand how ahead or how behind you are of the UTC time. This is extra beneficial during examinations when you have the portals getting closed at 6 p.m. UTC. So instead of converting the time, to your local time zone and which may result in some mistakes all you need to do is look at this clock at the top right in order to understand what is the UTC time moving on and the banner that you have over here you once again have calendar announcements for courses course enrollment grade history and help desk calendar is similar to what you saw at the top Apart from that, you have announcements. As a student at IOU, wherein we are using the online medium, it is absolutely essential for us as students to ensure that we check the announcements portal all the time in order to check for any latest announcements. So here you have an entire, it becomes a, an announcement board or a notice board wherein we have all the important information all important announcements made on this portal next you have all courses which is similar to the courses tab that we saw on top followed by course enrollment this is used in when you wish to enroll into your courses grade history will show you all the grades of the completed courses so far um, in all, it which will be divided as per the semesters in which you have completed it in and then you have help desk in order to raise a query directly from your dashboard without emailing all you need to do is key in your subject select the issue type write down a brief about issue and if you have a supporting document add it on and submit it you don't have to go and create an email from your inbox you can directly send a query from your dashboard the next important part of your dashboard is the schedule block. Here you will be able to see the academic calendar based on the program that you are enrolled in. And here you only have a view of all the important dates that are required in terms of your coursework. 
Furthermore, you will have additional details in terms of these information blocks that are given at the bottom of the dashboard. And these information boxes are self-explanatory and it can be utilized in order for you to have to go through any academic concerns if you have. This is for normal course enrollment, early course enrollment, and these are the extra course enrollments. Like I mentioned, these names are self-explanatory. So for any query or any portal that you wish to access, you're requested to come to the dashboard and go through these course, go through these blocks that are mentioned over here and click on the relevant link. For example, if you have any exemption request, you will go through the request block and then select the one that is applicable. Under documents, it is all referring to the document requests that you have or the ones that you would like to apply for. Exams, the exam center info that we spoke about at the beginning is also mentioned over here. Any error reports that you need to make, fee issues, student services, support, all of these blocks are at the, on your dashboard from where you can access all the information that is required. Dear students, IOU has an international body of student representatives of both IOU staff as well as students who are based in different parts of the world and can be reached via email or telegram. You can find your local student committee, or if there isn't one, you can make one by contacting scofficer2 at iou.edu.gm. To view and reach out to our representatives and student committees, visit www.iou.edu.gm slash representatives. The code of conduct. While it is the goal we strive for at IOU that all members, including administration, staff, and students have a positive and beneficial experience while affiliated with IOU, we do realize that Shaitan never rests. Steering up animosity, especially among Muslim brothers and sisters, is one way for Shaitan to attain the goal of separating believers from aspects of following the deen. Therefore, just as every institute needs a code of conduct to promote a positive and balanced environment in which to operate, IOU as well has outlined some detailed protocols with regards to studies, examinations, social media, communication with the faculty, and live webinars. Please familiarize yourself with the code of conduct accessible through the student dashboard. For any student who contravenes these rules, strict disciplinary action shall be taken. IOU also opens the channel through which your own complaints and grievances can be heard and appropriate solutions are provided. Hence, you all must familiarize yourself with the grievance policy as outlined on the student's code of conduct page so that issues are resolved appropriately. Basically, if you have any complaints against any student or staff or faculty member, you should first try to resolve issues with the relevant person through polite discussion. If this does not resolve the issue, then you can report an academic grievance against any faculty member through the teacher complaint portal. Non-academic grievances can be brought into the attention of our Secretary of the Disciplinary and Grievance Committee by sending an email to grievances at iou.edu.gm. We do wish to remind our students that taking grievances to open social media forums and spreading accusations is not only Islamically reprehensible, it could possibly put the student into a situation of facing account for such rants in front of Allah on Yawbul Qiyamah. Please, dear students, fear Allah, even in anger, and take appropriate steps to resolve issues. Do not enter into riba and namima over something that should be solved quietly. We remind ourselves first, and then others, that shielding the misdeeds of others while seeking retribution for actions is because of Allah also covering our own misdeeds that we may not remember. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all and guide us. Ameen. Dear students, 
Now we will move on to the Q&A session where you can send in your questions that you either had before the session or have accumulated during the session. We have Sister Sana Khan to answer your questions and clarify any issues you have about the upcoming semester. Over to you, Sister Sana. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Uh, inshallah, I'm ready to take your questions. Uh, okay, so we have, will I provide Hajj course for pilgrimage this in this year? Hajj course. Um, are you referring to some, um, some particular course for you to prepare for Hajj? If that's what you're referring to, you may reach out to the info desk and inshallah, they will get back to you. That is info, uh, info at iou.edu.gm. Um, the next question is, are there any courses in IOU to let non-Muslims from different categories of religion background to understand about Islam properly? Uh, well, you know, the, you can, uh, you can um, you know, uh, share the GDIS uh, campus link with them, which is the open campus of IOU. We have very short courses there. Uh, very basic courses related to Akida, the new Muslim course and, you know, things like that. So uh, perhaps, you know, Akida courses would be more beneficial in the sense uh, that, you know, it would help them understand the concept of Tawheed and Islamic monotheism. So you could uh, perhaps, you know, gift them that course. Um, uh, the, the subscription varies from um, uh, as low as 12 USD for an entire year. So perhaps, you know, that could be shared with them and they can join, you know, the, the listed courses from there. There are many other courses and they can join the ones that they're interested in. I hope that answers your question. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Is there any course for project management? Well, we don't have a very specific course in project management. Uh, all We have, you know, seven different departments at IOU. And you can visit the main uh, website of IOU to see the different departments. We have the Arabic department, Islamic studies, uh, banking and finance. We have business administration. We have IT. We have psychology. We have education. So these are the different uh, departments that we have. And some of them have, you know, bachelor level education. And uh, some do also have master's. So you can, inshallah, explore that and see if anything interests you. Okay. How can I join a student forum? Um, I'm not sure what forum are you referring to because when you enroll as a student, if you're enrolled in the courses in this semester, you are automatically able to access uh, the forums uh, pertaining to a specific uh, course. So you have the student forum, you have the Ask the Teacher forum. So both these forums are accessible to the students. So you'll just have to um, navigate navigate to your course page and on that you will be able to uh, see the forums inshallah it's right there on the course page okay and in case you can't locate it uh please uh feel free to reach out to the help desk inshallah okay how can i know when i have live session for each course so okay we uh, do not have regular live sessions in the sense um you know you would have to check uh, i'm not sure which stream are you from so that is also important to note uh, some master's programs may have multiple live sessions. So or when you when you go to the specific course page, there is a live sessions block uh, that you can see. And under the block, it will have uh, the recordings of the previous live sessions. Uh, any recent live sessions, you'll have to go to the announcement sections of the, of, of the particular course page and you will find any recent annou uh, announcements that have been made by the teacher. Okay, so you, you, you will get an update. Uh, otherwise, usually for undergrad courses, we just have two live sessions one for midterm and one for finals they're just before uh, the respective exams take place so that students can get their doubts clarified okay um would you please advise the st strategy and methodology in iou to grow muslim community gradually and develop dawa activities well strategy method to non-muslim in taiwan Okay, um, that's a very, uh, very specific question. I'm sorry, that would not, I will not be able to cover this in the Q&A session. Perhaps you will have to reach out to the help desk or preferably to any of your uh, ghost teachers, um, if possible, and they will be able to assist you with that. Okay. I am a BA Arabic student. Will I be able to work as a proof teacher in UAE after passing out from IOE? Okay, so you'll have to check with the Ministry of the UAE. Uh, the, the teaching ministry, I'm not sure which emirate are you from. So you will have to contact the, resp uh, the respective um, um, you know, ministry of education. 
So like if if you're in Abu Dhabi, it would be ADEC, uh, you know, so respective ministries, each Emirate has its uh, you know, own ministry. Please reach out to them and you can check with them if your degree would be acceptable or not. Okay. Is IU bachelor's degree recognized by the, okay. So again, uh, it's, it's a related question. Please check with your respective uh, Ministry of Education in your Emirate. Will IOU consider faculty related to halal fields such as food science, technology in the future? That does look like a, an upcoming and interesting field, but Allah Walam, we would not be able to comment on that because um, um, Allah Walam, if, if it's possible, then definitely, inshallah. Okay. As for Arabic course, what's the standard compared to Arabic courses of the University of Mecca and Medina? Uh, I'm not sure which Arabic course are you referring to. We have uh, different kinds of Arabic courses, but we do follow the Medina Arabic series, which are the most uh, well-known and the most common series that are used to teach uh, Arabic to non-native Arabic speakers. Okay, so you can check that out, inshallah. Okay, any other questions? Okay, the Arabic courses, uh, it's referring to BA ALS. BA ALS, if you look at the curriculum, they, uh, they uh, uh, do teach different uh, varied subjects. And each subject uh, basically has its own textbook. And, you know, so I will not be able to share the entire list with you. Uh, so if you are already an enrolled student at BA ALS and you've enrolled in the current semester, then you can reach out to the help desk to know more details, inshallah, okay? Did any previous student who passed from IU get job with certificate in the Middle East? Uh, the thing is, uh, you know, uh, as you're aware, uh, you know, brother, sister, that we are a global setup. So it's very difficult to keep track of every student as to where they're reaching out unless they personally come and tell us about the updates in their lives or if they've got a placement somewhere. Uh, but I would not be very, uh, you know, it would, not, it would not be very easy for us to kindly, you know, like specifically locate a particular country and give reference in that regard. Uh, whether a student located in a particular country was able to, to secure a job or, or anything of that sort. So I think the best thing that you can do is reach out to the Ministry of Education uh, in your respective country, see what their requirements are so that, you know, and you can discuss with them and let them know if, uh, you know, the, cert the certificate that you get from IOU is acceptable or not. That would be the best way out, inshallah. Okay, do we have any more questions? Is there any advice on how many times to take lectures for each? How many times to take lectures? Uh, okay, I am not very sure, brother. Your uh, brother Z, your question is not very clear. If you could just elaborate that, it would help me to answer your question. Um, if you are, uh, if you are inquiring as to how many modules you should view per week, then I would suggest that the total number of courses that you're enrolled in you uh, you add up the pre midterm modules from all the courses and you see that the weeks that you have that lead up to your uh, up until your midterm exams and you see how many weeks you have and uh, accordingly you can divide the number of modules per day and you can manage your studies inshallah okay so if if that's what you're asking then this is what i have for you um if there's anything else you can clarify inshallah Do 
will IOU provide course for young generation such as from kindergarten, elementary, junior, senior, high school? Well, uh, let's hope we do that sometime in the future, inshallah. We cannot like commit to anything of this uh, as of now because our aim has always been, uh, you know, uh, higher education. And that's what we've aimed at mostly. So inshallah, if, if Allah opens up ways, then perhaps that would also be there, inshallah. Can we access a student's previous thesis in the MA ALS program e library while conducting research? Uh, MA ALS program, uh, I'm not sure if you are from the research uh, based program or the course based program, but uh, uh, you must be aware that the MA ALS program was very, very recently launched. The, the research based program was launched in fall 23 and the course base was launched in fall 24. So we do not have any student who's completed their thesis so far in MAALS. And uh, we do not have, um, you know, a section where the previous thesis uh, are available for, uh, you know, viewing. So we do not have that database as of now. Um, if it is available in the future, inshallah, it, the students will be informed, okay? Okay, so if there are no more questions, then uh, inshallah, I will take your leave. Thank you so much uh, for all your questions, and I hope I was able to answer them. In case if anything is still not clear, please feel free to reach out to the help desk, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Jazakallah khair in Kathira, Sister Sana, for your time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you generously and abundantly. I mean, dear students, would you be able to take a moment to share your feedback for the orientation session? The link to the feedback form will be shared on the chat window. And as we end the session, we give thanks first to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessing us with the opportunity to learn about his deen without having to traverse the earth for knowledge. This is indeed a huge blessing. We thank Dr. Bidal, for conceptualizing affordable online Islamic education and bringing it to the Ummah. And we express our gratitude to all of the shuyukh who teach Islamic knowledge and add Islamic perspective to the secular knowledge, making it relevant to the Ummah. Thank you to all of IOU's behind the scenes staff and volunteers who keep IOU online and running. Finally, thank you dear students for attending and being a part of this IOU family. May Allah bless your efforts and increase you in reward. Ameen. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.